Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Tanelia and my channel kind of centers around um, the purchase of our new construction home. Um, my family and I, we've been in the home probably about three months, going on four months now. So it's still a very, very new house. Um, so on this channel, I'm going to be showing you the different decor pieces that um, I'm decorating the house with and also, you know, how I'm furnishing the house and just how we're enjoying the house all together. So welcome to those who are new, for those who are returning, thank you all so much for your continued support. Um, I was editing the video last night and I realized that I didn't even do an intro. So I said, okay, let me do an intro first thing in the morning. It is like the first thing in the morning. I just dropped the girls off at school. So I'm in full mummy mode with the baseball cap and the random cardigan I just threw on to go outside. But in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on a few things in a few different spaces, like my office, you probably see this pink chair, and I'll show you like a full view of that once I get um, to that part of the video. Also, a rug that I received from Words USA, which was supposed to be canceled, but I think, you know, I'm glad that it came because I was able to see it in the space and make a determination if I'm going to keep that particular rug or not. And also, um, some decor or a decor piece rather that I got um, for the living room. And I think it really meshes well with everything else that I have in the space. So again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll let you all get to today's video. Bye. So here is the table on top of the rug. So this is the rug, the six by six. Just to make a very long story short, I had canceled this rug. I told them to return the rug before it arrived to the house because I was like, I'm not sure if this six by six is going to work. So let me just go ahead and cancel the order and then place an order for a new rug. So I decided not to order a new rug. I just wanted to see in which direction I wanted to go in before I placed the order. So I haven't purchased a new rug um, or, or this particular rug um, to be specific, but I was going to eventually purchase a different size rug. So that's why I went ahead and placed the cancellation for this one is here that didn't happen and so i decided you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and just take it out the box and see what it looks like because i have it and i'm glad that i did i'm glad that it, it did come um because once i got the rug here and i took it out let me turn on the light for you i don't think that did much but <laughs> we'll pretend like it did but once I got the rug here, I, I'm not, not, granted, I like this rug. I think it's really pretty, but the blue, and this is probably my fault because I did see like the blue in, um, in the pictures, the pictures that were on the website. Because I really do think that, that the pictures are a good representation of what the world looks like in person. But I guess I just really want this world so bad, I just overlooked it. But it almost looks like a lavender um, instead of just like a light blue. I'm gonna see if I can come up closer. I'm not sure if you're really catching that. But it looks almost like a, a lavender, lilac type of color and a light blue and some slate blue in there too. So once I got this down, even if I would have been okay with this size, I don't like the blue that is pulling. So this is definitely going back. I'm definitely returning this rug, but I wanted to see what it looked like, the six by six, right? So this is six by six. It is not centered appropriately, so. Y'all just bear with me. It's just me by myself trying to get this rug together. So it's not going to be perfect. I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of trying to push this table over. So I did the best that I could. But even with the rug as is, I'm not sure. Well, I know for sure that I'm not, I don't quite like it. And this is a Parson chair. Someone mentioned in a comment, they made a recommendation of maybe I should get a, get a Parson chair. And this is a Parson chair. I just have it covered up right now. We have kids. And so sometimes it's just best to just cover it up. And plus in our old dining room, I had like a teal thing going, but I just left the covers on there because it was just easier for the girls to 
eat on these chairs without having to worry about making a mess and I can just take the cover off and put it in the washing machine. But I don't like that the two back legs of the chair are not on the rug. And I know maybe if I push this up a little bit or push this table over so it's more centered this way, then I probably have some room, but I'm not sure because it looks about, what do you think about four inches that, that it's off of the rug? So I don't think that that six by six is going to work this square. And if you can see my little markings here on the floor, we're almost spot on. I may have been off maybe an inch or so because it is a little bit uh, more to the right on this side. So maybe I was off an inch. I think I did pretty good with the measurements, but I can't keep the six by six because it's not big enough. The six by nine, I think that may work or even the eight by eight, but I know for sure the six by six is not gonna work. And then just this color, cause I'm not sure if you all recall now, I said that if I really liked it, that I will order this for the living room, but that is a no-go, not gonna happen because this lavender slash light blue is just not doing it for me. So I will be putting this back into a box and returning this to um, Rose USA. Beautiful rug just doesn't fit the color scheme that I was going for. It is a couple of days later and I am a woman of my word. I have taken up that rug and it is right here. This is a box that it came in. This is a very small box, so um, very efficient when it comes to packing up rugs on Rugs USA. So I'm going to return this rug because it's not gonna work out. But I wanted to show you all this box that I received like a couple of weeks ago. I told y'all that we're sometimes we're kind of bad when it comes to unpacking things right away. And I'm talking about this big box down here. These other two small boxes are box springs for the girls bed. So we finally have the box springs. And in this box is a planter, the big box that is. I bought this from either Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn. I can't remember one of those stores. It's a black round cylinder um, planter that I saw. They have black, gray, white. And if I can pop up a picture of what they all look like, I'll show you. So I am going to unbox this. I won't do it on camera because it's probably going to be way too much and you don't want to see me unboxing or unpacking this box. But I'm going to unpack this box and take out this planter and show you all where I want to place it, which is going to be by the cab one of the cabinets um, in the living room. Before I do that, I was like, let me show them what this world looks like in the office. Because remember, the last time I showed it to you, <clears throat> excuse me, the last time I showed it to you all, I didn't have the desk on top of the rug. So I went ahead and put the desk on top of the rug. I got a chair. Let me bring you around. I got this chair. So beautiful. I love this pink chair. It's like a salmon mauve type pink and, it, and it's on like these gold legs <clears throat> excuse me and it has like the caster so it's easy to roll well sometimes it does get a little hung up uh where the rug ends but that's an easy fix but it is very comfortable i put my arms up right here on the side of the chair so extremely comfortable and I like the way it sits. I like the height and I can adjust the height of it. And I put this together all by myself. So I'm very proud of that. So I like the rug. It's kind of the way that the rug is looking right now on camera is not, it doesn't look like it matches. And of course it doesn't match perfectly, but it is bringing out some of the pink um, that's in the rug. Maybe you can see it better down here. And excuse the cores, I still haven't found a system for the course and my husband didn't mention we were having a house fit that I want an outlet in the middle of the floor and I said no because I didn't want to pay five hundred dollars for it. But now I'm just like uh I don't know this court situation and there's my handy dandy heater because sometimes I get hot I'm sorry cold and I have the 
I want to turn on my heater, but sometimes I do get cold. I mean, hot, and I'll turn on, you know, the fan on it, but majority of the time, the heat is on. Now, let's see this chair. My sister, my oldest sister, has called deals on this chair. So, either my husband or I, we're going to take that to her. Still don't know what I'm do about these dusty tables over here. Maybe I keep them or take them down to the basement. Those are eventually going to go. And lastly, this is the mirror. I'm not sure if you all remember this mirror that was in that box um, that was in the entryway when I was filming like the living room tour and I had not taken it out. Well, I finally, finally, finally took it out. Um, I haven't, you know, wiped it clean or anything like that, but I just want to go ahead and take it out to make sure that it wasn't broken. But this is it. And I put my jacket behind it and that piece of paper so it wouldn't scratch the um the wall because it's the mirror is kind of heavy not too heavy but you know heavy enough we could probably scratch or damage the wall so i just kind of put that back there so i'm not sure if i'm going to put this mirror in the office like on this wall right here maybe like back there somewhere like in the middle and put like some sconces on either side of it. Or if I'm going to put it in my original spot that I had um, planned for, which is in the foyer. But I wanted to show you all that this mirror, I think this is like 36 inches wide. So it's a pretty, pretty big mirror. And I like it, I like the, the grand size of it. But let me go ahead and take this planner out the box so I can show you all what that looks like. Yeah, this thing is heavy. <laughs> well, it's not extremely heavy. I was able to carry it myself, but I definitely had to use all my strength. <clears throat> I'm going to take this place off, but I wanted y'all to see what it looked like as far as like the wrapping. It doesn't appear to have any scratches on there, but well, I'll do a little bit further investigation once I take um, all the plastic off. Y'all, I am loving this planter. It is absolutely beautiful. And I thought it was black and it's more so maybe charcoal. So maybe I misspoke when I said black. It's more of a charcoal and it matches really well with this fireplace. So I like the way it looks. And let me just step back a little bit so you can just see how grand it is. It's a, it's a huge planter and it fits in the space really well. So maybe just a couple of inches on either side. And my plans, with it is to get like a a faux tree maybe a birds of paradise an olive tree you know something along those lines um, my mom and one of my girlfriends was like you can get a real tree and put it in the planter and just let it grow but i don't know i don't know i don't have a green thumb like that i mean i know it probably just only requires water but i don't know i gotta think about it but let me show you all how deep it is i mean it goes all the way to the bottom i haven't cleaned it out uh, but it goes all the way to the bottom so if i do get you know a faux tree i will have to put something in there to kind of bring the height up because i'm i want the tree to maybe not necessarily be as tall as the cabinet but i do want it to be tall but yeah i am feeling this planner it is beautiful i really do like it so i'm happy with this purchase and i think i got this i know i got it on sale i'm not sure if it was like a memorial day sale it may have been like a memorial day sale and it was in stock so it shipped maybe a few days after i made the purchase i also wanted to show you all something else um first of all y'all see that box right I just mentioned I was a woman of my word, but when it comes to this box, I am not. I asked my husband to break it down, so I'm going to blame him on, that, him on that one because he has not broken that box down and put it in the trash. Uh, but let me take y'all outside because I was working and all of a sudden I start hearing this noise, um, but I came to the back. I was like, what is going on? What is going on with, you know, this noise? And I see this going on i'm not sure if i mentioned that we have like this retention pond that's right by um our our house and those are our green giants those big trees right there. well they're small right now but they're gonna grow pretty pretty high um but you know we have those it's kind of like a natural fence but i saw like this 
don't know if this is a tractor. I don't know what this thing called, this bobcat machine. And I was like, did my husband have somebody come out and do this to the retention pond? I was like, I don't think so. But let me just text him and see. And he was like, no. So I'm not sure who hired this man to come out here. Now, granted, the retention pond is not our property. You know, we don't have any ownership of it. But it's just odd that this would be happening. No one came to knock on the door. We didn't get an email or phone call. It's just odd. So I'm going to wait till they're done. Hopefully I'm not in the shower or busy and ask like, dude, who are you? Why are you here? <laughs> I mean, I appreciate him cleaning up the retention pond, but a little heads up or some kind of notice would have been, you know, courteous. But yeah, that's what's going on in the backyard. Just extra random. Okay, one last thing. I'm back in my office. I wanted to show you all something um, that I had in mind. Here's the window that looks out of my office. Still have some boxes here. One of them is holiday stuff. Another is donation. And the other one I just need to go through. But I'm thinking about putting a bench or a couple of chairs um, in front of this window. I was thinking a bench. I really want a bench because at one time I was thinking a love seat, but I think a love seat would be too high because I don't want the love seat to be to come like up here and block up, block out some of the window. And I've been looking at a couple of benches online. I saw one at Wayfair and I saw one at CB2. And I'm looking for like something that's in that cream beige um, family. And I saw some benches that have probably come either right here or maybe right there. So I'll still have a view out the window because I don't want anything that's going to block the view of the window. Um, so that's where I am right now. One of them that I saw, the one at Wayfair, that one is out of stock. And I'll pop up a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. And I really like this bench. It's a beautiful bench. I like the horseshoe shape of it. And it looks to be like that sharper material. Not at first, I, when I looked at it, oh, this is boucle, but it's not boucle. It's more of the sharper type um, material or fabric. And then the other one is from CB2, and this one's definitely a, a boucle. And when I was reading the reviews, they say it's more of like a French vanilla ice cream color than it is, see, an ivory or a cream. So I'm trying to decide between the two. I'm leaning more so towards the one from CB2 because I like that it does have like somewhat of a back to it, although it doesn't come up very far, but it does have a back to it and it has those arms. Um, but I wouldn't be mad at the one from Wafer either. So I'm going to think about that the next couple of days and see which one I like better. But if I go with the one from CB2, I probably need to order that within the next couple of days because it appears to be on sale. It's like on, on sale for 20% off. So I definitely need to make up my mind. But I wanted to show you all what I was thinking about when it comes to you know putting something right here by the window or in front of the window. And I went ahead and put up my file cabinet. As you can see, I have some knobs that are missing. Um, I, the knobs that I had were these, but I think I'm going to take that out because it's just, I don't know. I'm not really feeling those anymore, but I bought these right here from Anthropology ooh, months ago. I had them on sale. They was like 80% off. So I really like those. And I have six of these, which would be perfect because it's six places for, for knobs. So I think I'm going to put these here because at first I was going to put them in a girl's bathroom, but I was like, mm -mm. I'll put them in my office. 